One of the biggest challenges I, fa I see investors facing over the next 5, 10, 15 years is the low interest rate environment we have. I mean, the reality is over the last 35 years, investors globally, not just here in Canada, have benefited from the big tailwind of lower, lowering interest rates. We've seen government bonds go from 20% in the early 80s to somewhere in the neighborhood of you know, 1.5 to 2% today. And what does that mean? What that means is that the uh, real estate markets, the equity markets, and the bond markets have had a wonderful tailwind that has fueled a bull market in each of those the asset classes. Way above average returns in each of those three. But what we have to think about as investors is what's the future looking like? Where we go from here? Because that tailwind is not going to be there anymore in the future. So when you're investing in bonds, when you're investing in real estate, and investing in equities, what is the next 5, 10, 15 years going to look like? Well, first with real estate. Real estate is an interest sensitive asset and we're going to have a significant headwind as rates start to rise. Whether you see that in home prices or general real estate investment trust prices, it all comes down to the value of the property versus its cost of funding. Now, supply and demand is a secondary function in this, so high quality assets will always be more valuable over time, but this underlying interest rate trend will have a negative impact, so we need to be thoughtful about that. The second is equities, and equities have had a really wonderful bull market over the last 35 years because of this interest rate decline. What happens in the future? As interest rates rise, we're going to need to see growth at the economic level to offset a lot of that impact that it's going to have on corporations and earnings. And then lastly is bonds, and I think this is the most challenging part that investors need to think about. Being a passive bond investor in the past has been extremely rewarding. Being a passive bond investor in the future is going to be extremely difficult. And the reality is now when we think about interest rates rising, now we see even negative returns. So the problem I have when we all say this is that when we build portfolios that are historically been, you know, sort of call it 60% in equities and 40% in bonds, well that just won't work in the future. We need to be much more thoughtful about where we're allocating our capital and we need to be much more thoughtful about wh what we do in the bond market because I don't think the bonds are going to give us the level of returns that we all need to make our outcomes that we all want.